This is the SAT amount kit. As you can see, that's actually there is a Starlink satellite mounting base attached to it. But the SAT amount kit consists of the two 27 inch sections of Unistrut. This has a proprietary finish that is more non corrosive than stainless steel. Uh, in rural areas, this can get over a hundred years of continuous life. Uh, with this uh, defender finish on this unistrut. So you get these two 27 inch rails, four RCT roof clamps, and these fit about 95% of today's standing seams. Plus you get end caps, and you get the hardware and the channel nuts to lock your mounting base. So it can be used for a lot more things, but primarily it's designed to mount satellite bases on the standing seam roofs without penetrating. So as you can see, this is fully installed, takes about maybe 10 minutes to install. Very simple, but the, the basic installation procedure uh, is to measure your seam spacing, your on-center spacing between your high ribs. You mark both of your channels, both of your struts. You loosely install your four clamps. There's a top bolt that goes down into the channel and there's slots in the bottom of this unistrut. So you mount your top bolt or you mount your top bolts and your clamps onto your strut. Then you take your upper strut, what I find the easiest thing to do is take the upper strut and go ahead and mount this into the correct location. You'll tighten these top bolts. These are 9 16 And then you will use a 3 16 Allen bit. And you will torque these. Everything gets torqued to 90 inch pounds. We don't go to foot pounds. We go to inch pounds. We use a micro torque wrench. It reads into inch pounds. But um, we just torque all these set screws and then a 9 16 to torque the top bolt to 90 inch pounds and that secures the roof clamps to the seam. So now you've got this first rail already in place. The next thing you want to do is take your second rail and then you want to loosely install your mounting base. So you hold these channel nuts, you insert the channel nut in and you twist it a quarter turn clockwise. So it goes in like this and then you twist it under this rail and then you use, and then this receives your bolts. You run your bolt down through your mounting base. And as you're installing this, you want to hold this channel nut in place and then just loosely run these nuts in. You don't want to tighten these up yet. Once you get this assembly in place, you move it over here to the roof and you set it in place with the clamps over the seams. And then you loosely install these two top bolts. So now you've got this whole assembly in place. And that tells you, you don't have to measure anything, that tells you exactly where this rail needs to mount. Once you get this in place, then you repeat that procedure. You tighten your, there's three set screws on each clamp. You, you set these to 90 inch pounds over here, tighten your two top bolts. And then once that's done, then you go around and you equally tighten these four bolts that hold, whether it's a satellite base or whatever it is, HVAC unit, whatever it is you happen to be mounting on the roof, primarily satellite. But that is the basic procedure to install this. One thing to keep in mind, this is not designed for snow retention, so and, and which is fine for satellite dishes because normally you want to have this installed up towards the upper part of the roof anyway to avoid any heavy buildup of snow and ice, which your satellite's not designed to withstand that anyway. So you want to have this up high on the roof to avoid that. But it's very simple, basic hand tools, uh, flex bit such as this might come in handy. And then a couple of sockets, 7 sixteenths and a 9 sixteenths for your top bolt, and then a 3 sixteenths Allen bit for your set screws. So very simple procedure. If you have any questions, give us a call or hit us up on live chat. Thanks for watching.